Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to import 3D files into our workspace. It's a fairly easy process. Probably the thing you'll have the hardest time doing is coming up with files that are of the right file type. According to the documentation, the only file types for import that are allowed 3D model wise are stereolithography files, STL, wavefront OBJ files, 3D studio files, PLY files, and VRML2 files. My guess is the VRML will be the hardest to find. And if you go to places like GrabCAD, a lot of the times you'll have STEP files instead of STL files. They are not the same thing, and you would have to convert them if you have a STEP file that you want to use. The process for adding a file is fairly straightforward. As you can see from my screen, I've already loaded my project, selected a robot type, and have started the simulator. Under the layout tree, if I right click, I can select add object and it will by default add a hexahedron, but I can change it. And so I'm going to add a model of a conveyor that I've previously created. And you'll notice in the layout tree, when I give it a name, it updates there. Under figure, I can select 3D model. I can also do columns, spheres, triangle prism, plane, tube, and a string, but I'm going to pick 3D model. Under file, I can select the file I want. I'm going to pick conveyor STL. One of the things you'll note when I brought my file in, it's extremely small. The reasoning for this is that when I created the original file, I did it in inches, and by default, the RT Toolbox 3 wants millimeters, and so I can change my unit of scale to inch, and it will resize everything to the correct size. Or I could have selected magnification specification and I could scale it however I need to. As you can see, the origin of my conveyor defaulted to 500 comma zero comma zero for the position. And so I would need to move that. The X is okay, but I wanna move this Y in this direction. And so now it's placed at negative 1000 for the origin of the object relative to the origin of the robot. I can move my robot around if I need to to ensure that it will reach. And so as you can see here, I can fairly easily reach my conveyor. Maybe I need to make it a little bit higher. So let's do 100 there. And so, as you can see, I'm able to move my object around. I can change the color if I want to. Depending on how the source file was generated, you may or may not get the level of detail you would really like, but that's okay for this. I can control things like rotation, angle, and I can continue to add various objects to my layout tree and build up my overall work cell. I will warn you, the larger the STL file, the longer it will take to load, and the greater the strain on your system that file will be. So you do want to balance the level of detail against the responsiveness of the software in general. That's it for now. Hopefully this has helped.